Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jab Skywalker, but you can call me Jabs. This is a video some of you guys have been asking me for in a comment section and through all bunch of other ways you can contact me. Um, this is a video to show you guys how to change the LED lights on the ABS Master Gaming PC that I have. I will be going over the software. I will be going over how to change them on the actual tower. I will be going over which fans actually change through both. So let's get into the video. All right, now here we are at the old desktop. Now, just a heads up, I do have another shot. I'm going to have another shot post-production showing you guys the lights. I have my camera focused on my PC while I am doing this stuff on my PC. So you're going to see a separate shot where it's going to show the inside fan at one color and the outside fan at one. Now, the outside fan, the fan to the left, it's actually going to be the same color as the ones in front of the PC. So just keep that in mind, guys, while I go through this. Um, so what you're going to want to look for is RGB Fusion 2.0. You can even type it in here. Should you just type RGB and it should come up. So what you want to do is click that, say yes uh, when you get that up. And then it's going to bring you to this interface. Now, this controls all of the lights on the fans. And you have several options to how your lights go and how fast they go, what color you want the fans to be, you have all of that, okay? Um, so I'm gonna be going through all of this in the video. First, I'm gonna show you guys that this right here, this little, this, I guess, fan square, I have no idea what this is. Um, it's supposed to represent the motherboard, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is going to be the same color as anything you change for the fan okay so i'm making the red right you see the color to the right how that's kind of a more red color now i'm going to bring it over and make it blue now and now it's blue okay so this part is called static let me show you guys off real quick now off you can turn the light off if you want obviously that's not cool right you want your pc to look cool while you're gaming while you're chilling out right so you don't want to have that off you want to click static at least now obviously what static does it keeps the light at a steady flow and it just stays there it's the same color and it just stays there if you want just a single color you can go through the color wheel here you can add a favorite color you just hit your favorite color they have a pretty much these are like, you know, that's official red, official orange, official yellow. It shows all of that right here, guys. And Or you can just drag through the color wheel. You know, you can have some interesting colors. Like maybe this is like a periwinkle. You can have like a magenta. Whatever you want, you can change your fan to. And the light on your fan. And it will stay the same. That's what static is, okay? That's how you do that. Well, make sure you click on... If you click on to this, though... Um, Basically, what it does is it, it kind of just it gives you these options, but it doesn't really change much. Now, what you can do, though, is you can change other fans individually. Um, so if I want the digital LED right here to be a different color, let's say I make that red um, and I hit apply. Uh, so now the see how it's like more of a red magenta color. Uh, it's sort of the same thing. It's just that this is more in depth. This is like uh, you're changing all the other other colors too, of your outside PC. So you can even uh, you can have one static and you can have the rest on uh, these other options, which I will go to. Uh, I don't really color care what color my PC is right now, so uh, we could just hit apply just for the sake of this. Um, but we're gonna go back. You hit sync mode to go back, right? So we go to Pulse. See so what Pulse does is essentially goes on and out, like on and off, I guess. So like it, it sort of like, it's like a heartbeat. It just like turns the light on, turns it off. And you can change the color as it does that. Um, so take a look at this. You got, I changed it to blue, right? So now it's going on and off. But what you can do, if you take a look here, you have speed and brightness. Now you have this for static too. I mean, speed doesn't matter for static, right? So you have this brightness. So I can turn the brightness down there. But pulse, you can turn the speed up. And now it's going on and off faster. See? If you bring it all the way up, on and off, faster. Not too much faster though. It doesn't really uh, seem to make that much of a difference. 
but yes, it does. Just a tad bit. Flash will though. So um, if you put it on flash, whatever color you want, I like green. Green is my favorite color. You see how it's flashing? Now I turn up the speed, and it's gonna flash a little faster, a little faster. Um, so if you choose flash, it's sort of just like a blink, blink, pulse. It's sort of like a slow, like on and off, you know? Like it's um, not as flashy, <laughs> get it? Okay, so here's double flash though. Click on double flash, it's just what it says, it's a double flash, change the color here. Change the speed, you change the brightness. Color cycle, um, is, it's continuous. So you can't change this color. You can't do anything with the color wheel here because it's continuous. You can only change the brightness and speed. Uh, you can't click anything here. See, I'm clicking on it, guys. I, I, I can't click it. So what uh, color cycle is, is basically just going through all the, the colors. I guess all the possible ones, or it's just kind of like does a cycle of the color wheel thing. So you can make that super fast. You can slow it down. Um, anything you want there. Now, music, um, there is a way to get this to respond to music, okay? So if you click this, this function, um, and turn up the sensitivity, uh, I'm going to, let's see if I can play some music right here. You know, maybe it will do something. Um, I was trying to test this out earlier. I really hope it works, but. Um, okay, it doesn't seem to be working. Let's see, turn the sensitivity up. Maybe sampling rate up. Oh, there we go. So you have to turn the sampling rate up. I will turn it up along with the sensitivity. So we got some Naruto, you know. See how it's going to the music? So that's a cool feature. Um, so if you like to bump music, you can watch that fan. I don't know why you will be watching it, but hey. Uh, that's that. That's what happens with that feature. Okay, guys. So you got tons of option here. Now, random is just literally that. It's just like it, it just goes through everything, which I, I find is very random. I don't know why you would choose that. I feel like you would want a preference, right? So mine is static. I just like it. Keep it a nice, nice green. Um, green is my favorite color, so that's my uh, inside fan. But you can do this for all the fans, guys. Okay. So if you want. Let's say you want flash, right, for your outside fans. So you click flash, then you go here. Actually, no, no, this is different. I'll show you guys that later. So you click flash, click this, and then this will control the ones on the outside, okay? Um, so you, if I click this, go to green, and hit apply, now it's going to flash. No, it should. Let me see. LED. Okay, there we go. You have to actually, yeah, yeah, you can't, you have to click it in here, okay, guys? You can't click it from going in there. So now, if I go there, digital LED, turn up the speed, hit apply. Um, now it, it should be flashing, um, the outside ones. I see that it's green, but let me see. Outside ones, flash. Let's try double flash. Maybe that'll make a difference. Um, this stuff is still tricky, guys. So, but that should work. I don't know why it's not working, though. Um, but, yeah. You, you have to figure out which ones control what. So, like, digital LED is right here. Um, you can do this as color cycle. But really, um, it mainly controls, I guess, like the, the inside one. If you have like more inside fans, I guess that's what this controls. Because uh, the outside ones are controlled on the outside of the tower. But there is a way you can control them inside too. But I mainly want to show you guys how to control the inside one um, when I was doing this. 
Uh, but now I'm going to show you guys how to change the outside colors by just clicking a button. So we're going to get to that shortly. Okay, folks, so we're going handheld here. So see, this is the front of the PC. Now, if you look up top, um, right above the USBs, I'm going to zoom in on it. It's a little square button. Now, you can't really see it uh, because it's like dark. Let me turn on the lighting real quick. Yeah, that should be better. Okay, there we go. So that button right there, that is the money button right there. You press that, it changes the color of the outside fans. Um, and you can go through a whole cycle. They basically are the, the, the pulse ones that I showed you guys. So I showed you pulse, that's kind of like what this does automatically. If you press the button, but you can go through a bunch of colors, purple and white. Uh, red, white, and blue it kind of looks like, or red and silver, uh, green and silver, blue and silver, purple and silver, uh, it's just red, green, blue, purple, silver-ish, and then they have, uh, you, you have this function where it switches between red, white, and blue, there we go, that's it. Uh, and then you have this, where it cycles between like green, blue, red, purple. Uh, and then you just have the lighter colors. But this is mainly just like the rainbow. So I'm, all I'm doing guys is just pressing this button. And I'm changing that. And you change that to whatever you want. Now the software on the inside of the computer, that's to change what they look like, okay? It's not necessarily like, or how, I guess like if you wanted to flash and stuff, which um, I try to do, and I'm pretty sure it should work, um, but you know, this is kind of like just a quick video to show you guys like the software and like how you can mess around with it. Um, there's still some stuff I need to learn, but I want to show you guys what I already know. And that wraps up this video, guys. I'm sorry I couldn't change the fans on the outside using the software. I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't really know if you can or not. Um, I tried like messing with it and nothing was changing, but there is a way to change them on top of the tower. But I showed you guys how to change the fan on the inside above the graphics card. And that is the main thing for this software other than, yeah, it's just like how it flashes and stuff like that. So I hope this helped you guys out. And I, if you have any other questions about the PC, I'm open to them. I'm open to doing more videos on it. I'm going to be doing a review eventually, probably next week. I just want to, excuse me, plan it out and I want it to look good. So I don't want it to just me throw the camera on and be like, okay, this PC is awesome or this, this PC is shit. Like I want to actually analyze it, really think about it. So I'm going to have that up. I promise, guys. I know I said that uh, before, but I never really, you know, gave an exact date. I just said I want to use it for a bit, then give a fair review. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope the best of your today is or the worst of your tomorrows.